Hey guys, it's Stephanie, and today we're going to be talking about all of the different products that I've been loving from Amazon. Let's get into it. So I kind of live in the middle of nowhere. I don't really have the option to just go to a store really quickly and easily and pick up whatever you need, like a Target or anything. Walmart is at least a half hour drive one way, so that's an hour round trip, and you have to really plan your time out. So I kind of became Amazon addict. Um, I do have Prime. I think Prime is the best option if you are ordering quite a bit. Otherwise shipping it's going to add up eventually and you're going to be paying for a Prime membership and not even realize it. So you might as well have Prime. That is my two cents. No, this video is not sponsored. So I have a bunch of different products here. Um, some I have beauty, travel, a uh, couple kitchen things, clothes, so um, these aren't all the products I've bought from Amazon that I love, but this is definitely a start of them, and I'm sure we'll have more videos to come. I just didn't want this to be a super long video. Okay, so let's start with some kitchen stuff. So the first item I have, I've talked about it in one of my um, recipe videos, and it is an onion chopper, or a veggie chopper, whatever you want to call it, and it's super simple. This all comes out so you can wash it. Um, this I wash in the dishwasher. The lid I read you're not supposed to. So I hand wash the lid. But this stuff I just throw in the dishwasher. So the blades are super sharp by the way. So be careful. But I chop whatever I want. I put the blade in here and then I put the veggies around it. And I usually just have to cut the onion into fourths. Not really much more than that. And then I put the lid on, you line it up with the grooves, twist, and then to chop it, you just pull it, and it spins, and it chops it into not very fine, as fine as you want. Um, I've done zucchini, I've done cucumbers, I've done onions, um, I've done tomatoes, I've done a lot of different vegetables in here, and it is great. I love how easy it is, and you get a little bit of an arm workout, but it's not like you're having to sit there and chop it and cry when you're chopping an onion and get irritation. That stuff really bothers me. So this is the perfect option. It cuts my chopping time in half. So I will link this below. I'll link all of these items below um, off of Amazon, but this is definitely a great buy. The next product I have is this tumbler with a straw, I don't know what else to call it, but I use it for my smoothies, my protein shakes, anything like that that I need to take on the go, which is every morning I use it. Um, and I love this one because it is insulated and it keeps it, cold, it keeps it cold for as long as I wait to drink it. It's easy to clean, it's easy to take and go, and it's slender, so it fits wherever you want to put it. And I like the color, you can't really tell, but it's like a blue ombre into a pink. Um, there's lots of different colors you can get, so I will link this below. We'll kind of move into travel stuff now. Um, this is the Amazon Basics Portable Power Bank, and I love this thing. We recently went on a trip to California, and um, we used this like at Disneyland, and it, it charged both mine and my husband's phone for two days. I didn't have to charge this thing for two days. And you just turn it on and it will tell you by the lights, you know, how many charges you have. Obviously one is the lowest and when it gets down there you need to start charging it. But yeah, we use this for two days, charge both of our phones for the whole day. And it charges quickly. It's thin, it fits anywhere. You can put it in your pocket if you really need to. I tend to just put it in my bag or my purse that I have and have the cord sticking out so I can still use my phone while it's charging and it's simple to use that way. I love this thing. I've had it now for two or three years. It still works well. Um, it does have one of those um, different chargers than like your iPhone, so you do have to have, you know, that type of charger it doesn't come with it. It might, I just don't know where that cord is if that's the case, but. Anyway, I love this thing. I use it every time we travel. Along the lines of electronics, um, we took a lot of different electronics on our trip this time because we were vlogging, we had all of our chargers for our phone, watch, you know, you name it, we had to have it for charging situations. So I got this little 
bag off of Amazon and it just zips up and it keeps everything in there and it's it's basically kind of like a binder for your cords and you have diff two different sides so the first side you can wrap your cords up and you can put them in there like that and they stay. I put my little SD cards inside these little cute pockets here and my batteries and it all stayed in this nice little area. It has a little zipper here on the side for anything you want to zip into there. Like if the cord's bigger, like this cord was bigger. Um, and then on the other side, I was able to put my laptop charger because they had these nice little pockets here and my camera charger. And then it has this nice little pouch if you have like other cords you to store in there. I fit a ton of stuff in this and then you just zip it up and it's ready to go. Um, I liked this little thing here because when it was in my bag, I could just pull it out really easily. This thing is great. I'm sure there are other colors as well. Obviously I got pink because I liked pink, but um, this is perfect for traveling. We have so many cords nowadays with electronic things that you kind of have to have them organized in some sort of way. And I think this is a great option. My next travel item is my backpack. This backpack has been around with me for three or four years now. Um, I've taken it on so many trips and it is perfect because it holds so much. You would be amazed by the amount of stuff I fit in this backpack. It is basically Mary Poppins bag. I swear. I just, you know, can pull out a hat stand and there it is. Um, but no, this is a great, great bag. So there's different pockets so you have your big pocket that can really expand and hold a ton of stuff down in there and it has a laptop place as well and I always put like all my toiletries my makeup everything fits in here very nicely and then it has another pouch and it has little pockets here um, on both sides and it also expands more so they can put stuff in there as well and then it has this top one that's looking little, but you can put, still put little important things in there like your gum or whatever. And then it also has a big front pocket. It has these nice little mesh sides. I tend to put like an umbrella in one, a water bottle in the other, essential things that you might need. The straps are super heavy duty and they're definitely not gonna be breaking anytime soon. I mean, this thing, Ryan's lifted it before when I've asked him to, to take it somewhere really quick or whatever when we're traveling and he's like dang how much do you have in here is this heavy but the straps are so good they don't even budge now I do have to say I've had this like I said three or four years and it's been on many many trips and the zippers are starting to get a little funky like this one I know can only go up to there right now it's a little I think it's because I have put so much in here but for a backpack to last three or four years that I bought off Amazon, I think for like 50 bucks. I mean, that's not bad at all. And it's the company Mozone. So, you know, I might be a little time turner. Keychain. So, um, yeah, I love this backpack and it's been really, really handy with my traveling. Next, I have a face scrub. This is the Acure Brilliantly Brightening um, Facial Scrub. It is a physical so there's little beads in there. It reminds me of the color of algae. It's not pretty, that looks disgusting. But it's green and I just use like a little bit more than a pea sized drop and I just rub it into around my face. I don't go near my eyes with it, but I especially get like the pores in my nose and things like that. And I, I do let it sit when I'm in the shower, like and I shave my legs or whatever, I let it sit on my face and then I rinse it off. It's not a mask. You don't have to do that if you don't have time. And I use this about two times a week. And I really have noticed a difference. The texture of my skin is way smoother than it was before. I've never really had bad skin necessarily, so I don't know how this would work, but I do have sensitive skin and I have no issues with it. And it's pretty natural, natural ingredients. It does say for all skin types. And it is a 100% vegan, it's paraben free, sulfate free, sulfate free, silicone free, petroleum free. So it's free of a lot of chemicals. And I love this stuff. So I will link this below. You should get it. I use it about two times a week, like I said, and really have noticed a difference. Let's jump into clothing items. 
Now, I do run a lot. I run about six days a week, and I was looking for some lightweight tank tops because it's summer, it's hot, and I, I sweat a lot. So, I found these cute tank tops, and this one's blue. I think I have a purple one and maybe one other one. I can't remember if it's a pack of two or three, but um, I'll link it below. And it's by Patty Both. I think that's how you say it. So this one's a size small. I like this because it's kind of high necked, but then it's cut out in the back so that it's um, your sports bra will show. So if that's not something you like, but I like that it is very deep on the sides. I hate when things rub on under my arms, and it makes it so it's not as hot. And I have also tied this at the bottom to kind of make it less loose, but it is really loose and flowy, which I like as well. So I love these. There's other colors. I will link them below, but they're soft. They wash well. I have no concerns with them, and they're cheap. Next, staying within the running um, concept, I have this white Nike hat I got off of Amazon. It's really cute. It has the little... Um, Nike emblem in here in white barely can notice it, but I Have been needing a hat um, Because it's really hot and sunny and I'm trying to protect my face more So I've been running with a hat on if I end up running during the day And this is one size fits all type situation. I love just how simple it is It's just a white hat, but it's still Nike which I think is cool and I did even wear this on our trip for hiking. It's washed, I washed it recently, it washes well. It doesn't show my sweat stains, which surprising, it surprised me. It's white, so when the sun's beating down, it's not as hot as like a darker colored cap. So that is why I like this one. Um, yeah, it's simple, but I love it. And mm, I don't think I love other colors. I think I just really love the white one. It goes with everything. All right, my last, yes, I think last product for the day is a dress. Now, I work in a professional setting and I do wear dresses most days. And I wore this the other day. It's a cute little polka dot knee length baby doll dress. So baby doll, it means that it is a little bit of a higher waistline and it's a little bit wider in the waist as well. This is a size small. I'm five foot one, it hits right below my knee. So, you know, if you're taller, it'd be a little shorter. But I love this dress because you can dress it up or down and it can be cute either way. To work, I wore it with like a jean jacket and then little black loafer type shoes. And it was simple and I loved it. I love the sleeves, how it has this little ruffle and detail. And they're a little bit longer sleeves. So if you didn't want to wear a jacket and you had to go to work, do that um, you know you could wear it with heels to dress it up more there's just so many options and I love how simple the black and white polka dots are and even if you wanted to you could wear this to Disney and be super cute anyways that is most of the products I've been loving from Amazon recently um, I shop quite frequently on Amazon because it's easy I get it like in two days maybe even the next day and um, I keep trying different products from them, from different things that I like to use. So, in other words, I have many more, more videos I can make about this topic. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Keep on subscribing to my channel, and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!